Hey everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. In this week's video, we're going to answer the question, what is DOAS? So let's get started. DOAS stands for Dedicated Outdoor Air System. If you remember from one of the early videos, I drew an air handler like this. So we'll put in a fan, a cooling coil, a heating coil, we'll put in a filter, and then you have an outside air damper and a return air damper. In operation, it would mix fresh air with return air to supply to the space. So let's slide this over and make some room. The challenge to bringing in outdoor air and mixing it with return air in the system is how do you know the fresh air gets to the right zones? If you have an office that looks kind of like this, and we'll draw in some duct work so all of these are ducted from the same system. If this main area needs 500 CFM of outdoor air, and each of these spaces need 100 CFM of outdoor air, you'll bring in 900 CFM of outdoor air, but you don't know that each area gets what it needs to meet ASHRAE standard 62.1. You just know that you're bringing in the right amount to the entire section of the building. Slide this over again. So that brings us to dedicated outdoor air systems, or DOAS. It's an air handler specifically designed to provide 100% outdoor air. So while a conventional air handler does deliver ventilation, its primary function is conditioning the building air. A DOAS is primarily concerned with ventilation. Dedicated outdoor air systems use separate equipment to condition all of the outdoor air brought into the building for ventilation and then to deliver it to the spaces. So rather than just bringing a fraction of its supply air from the outdoor air, a DOAS unit has a large outdoor air intake and is designed to provide all the necessary filtering, dehumidification, heating, and cooling necessary to make use of that outdoor air. Let's move this over again. DOAS is especially good for buildings in humid climates or for buildings that need more than minimum required ventilation rates, such as hospitals and labs. Bringing in extra outdoor air or very humid outdoor air increases a building's dehumidification load. The ASHRAE Handbook under HVAC Systems and Equipment states that outdoor air typically makes up 80% of the building's dehumidification load. DOAS would effectively handle this humidity. Let's move this over again. Since the DOAS unit is only bringing in ventilation air, you can use a parallel sensible cooling system to handle the sensible load in the space. This is why you see DOAS used in chilled beam systems and systems that use fan boxes with sensible cooling coils. The DOAS unit handles the latent load and part of the sensible load, and then the chilled beam or chilled boxes handle the sensible load in the spaces. So let's bring everything back on screen. DOAS allows you to know you're providing ventilation air to all the spaces since that's all you're bringing in with the DOAS unit. So that's what a DOAS unit does. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, put them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.